What's going on everybody? Here with the uh and there's Ellie in the background. But oh this week has been crazy. Um definitely been a little rough trying to get to the gym and rough with my diet to be hundred percent honest. Um just been a crazy busy week. Uh Ellie's birthday is Sunday. So I've been trying to get a couple things done around the house because we're having family over. Um, just been busy with work and honestly those two things alone has just kind of been filling up my week. Uh, definitely, I don't know why, when I get busy like that and I fall out of going to the gym a little bit, I wouldn't say even fall out, but I didn't go to the gym for say three days in a row, it really kind of does affect my diet to be honest because I feel like the biggest thing for me is uh, when I actually go to the gym and I, I lift, I feel good, I feel like I want to like, I come out of the gym and I'm like, I got to eat good. Like it, it makes me more inclined to wanting to eat good. So, uh, Finally finished our bathroom. Um, that was what I've been working on for the last week. And uh, now I'm going to go to the gym. It's Friday. It's like 8.30 at night. I'm going to go to the gym now. And then uh, I'm going to uh, come home, relax, watch a little YouTube and go to bed tomorrow morning. Um, going ski shooting with my brother, one of his friends, and Chris. I just got a Mossberg 500 for Christmas, so it's my first time shooting that gun. I just want to get a couple rounds through it. And, uh, yeah, just see how it does. You know, the Mossberg 500, it's a combo, 20 gauge. Uh, I got the 20 gauge, it's what I wanted. Go ahead, dear. I got the 20 gauge, it's what I wanted, just for the uh, slug reasons. I'm uh, pretty sure the slug, just in my personal opinion, I mean, People could argue it or whatever. State in the comments below if you want. But I think the 20 gauge slug goes farther than a 12 gauge slug does. Um, just for big game hunting, you know, whitetail hunting up here in north, northern Jersey, um, I want to be able to make an 80, 90, 100 yard shot. And uh, with the 20 gauge slug, I'm going to put it to the test. I think I could do that. So uh, my buddy has the 500 Mossberg and 12 gauge. So maybe we'll do a video one day, back to back, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, to see what does better at long distances. Um, my argument is the 20 gauge slug obviously is a little bit of a smaller bullet to move, and a smaller slug to move, so uh, that's kind of my argument. But uh, just kind of watching some different videos right now, waiting for my headphones to charge, and then uh, so I found a dead head right here. I'm going to link the picture right here. Um, in the woods like three months ago while I was just kind of walking around seeing what uh tracking some different deer trails and just seeing what's out there finding rubs and scrapes and different things like that and I found a deadhead this thing was awesome so my buddy Craig took it and uh, he made a European mount for me he boiled it and mounted it and this is the finished product came out freaking awesome there it is this is found in northern Jersey. Nine points. Monster. Probably a five year old buck. I mean, thick. Thick. Fucking rack. Crazy. But, that's our first European mount on the wall. Here's Oki. My boy. My best friend. Two-year-old Bernadoodle. And Thea and Ellie. Maybe in it that way. Okay. Ah, good boy. Oh, we're going to go squirrel hunting in a couple weeks. You hear me? Hey, you want to go squirrel hunting? You want to go hunting? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you? You want to go hunting? <laughs> Thea, you want to get some squirrel? In Ellie's car now, I'm over to the gym. Uh, I'm gonna hit some chest and tries today. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do cardio, just because it's late, I'm tired. I'm gonna get a dirty chest pump and get the fuck out of there. So, uh, it's playing. I got the J, the, uh, I keep saying JBL, these are Sony's. Really good, I bought these when we went to Hawaii, so I could have them for the plane ride. And, uh, they're fucking really nice, I like them. I lost them, and then uh, we were just doing a lot of cleaning, and I found them in the one bag, so. Alrighty.
big weight loss tip for me is uh, definitely going to the gym and staying consistent is like obviously the number one thing. But more importantly, like going to the gym, it's not talked about enough how like going to the gym makes sure you want to eat better just as much. So like I noticed that like my diet may be on, on point like for say six months. I'm going to the gym for six months. My diet's on point for six months. And like, say I have a week off where I'm like really busy with work or I'm working on the house, whatever the case may be, I just can't get to the gym. I notice towards the end of the week, my diet starts to slip off as well. Cause I feel like going to the gym, say six days a week or five days a week or even three days a week, like just going to the gym multiple days a week consistently keeps you in check, keeps your diet in check. Because you go to the gym, you feel good, you know you're working towards a goal, and it's like, in my mind at least, and I convinced myself that like, I just worked my ass off in the gym, why am I gonna go home and go pig out, and like, I'm just never gonna see what I've worked really hard for. So, that's just like a little weight loss tip for me, is that like, when you go to the gym, you end up trying, you end up trying to eat better, and honestly, like, it just makes you better all around in life. Like, when I lost 200 pounds, I honestly, like, it changed my life completely. I went from growing up really, really rough. Like, we didn't have heat, didn't have electric. My dad's house was in foreclosure. Like, very, very rough situation. To losing 200 pounds in that situation. I didn't have a kitchen. We didn't have, uh, you know, running water. Like, it got really bad at one point. And uh, losing weight, honestly, like, I went from... 415 pounds in that situation because all I could eat was just go out. I would just go out and get, eat gas station food or whatever the fuck I could get my hands on, really. And then uh, I lost the weight. I lost 200 pounds. And I left there. I left the house at a very young age. I got my first apartment. And then a year after that, I bought my first house. And honestly, I test all of that to weight loss because I realized that, like, the number one thing, my number one, like, enemy, if you want to call it, or number one, like, thing that I hated the most about myself was my weight and I knew that I conquered that I could take on anything I got the job of my dreams I, I mean honestly like losing the 200 pounds and just getting in shape in general for anybody out there it doesn't have to be 200 pounds but just getting in cha shape in general will change your life 150% Got out of the gym. I got the dirtiest chest pump. Honestly, it was on. I did two movements for chest, and then I did uh, two movements for my triceps. But I did uh, a seated chest press machine, and then the pec deck, and uh, did like five sets on each till failure every set. And man, my chest fucking pumped. And I had a. Uh, Single arm, uh, tricep push downs, and I did just the uh, tricep push downs with that little curve bar. I don't know what it's called, but I uh, hit that. Then I did almost 11 minutes on the stair climber, and we're out. So, again, I said it before, I'll say it again it's quality over quantity. You don't have to spend three hours in the gym, just make sure when you spend, say, 45 minutes there, you gotta kill it. So, got a sweat out, felt good. I feel like realigned ever since I go back to the gym. It's like you take a week off, you feel all fucked up, and like you go back, you get a good sweat going, and you feel back to normal. So back at it, and see you guys later. Back home, finished with the gym. So happy I was able to go, it felt so good. But uh, yeah, got the weekend ahead of us now. Um, 
Ellie's birthday is on Sunday. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going to the dump in the morning. Then I'm going skeet shooting with my brother. Maybe I'll record a little bit of that. And then uh, I'm going to try out that Mossberg 500. I'm excited to get some rounds through that. And uh, yeah, this is the birthday cake I got for Ellie from Milk Bar. Thing is really good looking. It's a little free party fridge update. Got some cheese, some different uh, bologna or whatever it's called, salami. Different cheeses, dips, some fruit, and some chicken meal prep. Of course, we got the eggs. It's just a little sneak peek of the fridge. So, yeah, uh, that's like the message for today. So if you ever like feel like you fell out of your groove or fell out of it, just go hit the gym, go work out, go do, go on a hike, go on a walk, whatever you do that makes you feel like you realign yourself or feel like you get back on track, do that. Be a little strict for a day and uh, like really strict for a day with your diet. Don't eat, don't, don't fall, fall into the cravings, don't binge eat at night or whatever the case may be. Just uh, be strict for a day, hit the gym really hard and you'll fall right back in the groove. Don't overstress. Don't worry about what you did yesterday because you can't change it. Don't worry about what you did five minutes ago because you can't change it. All you need to worry about is what you need to do from this moment and this moment forward. So, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you guys want to uh, get videos on, content on? So, I can get more content on shooting. I can get more content on hunting. Um, my diets, I can do meal preps, whatever you guys want to see. So, follow me on TikTok at Big J's Journey with two Y's. Instagram, Big J's Journey with one Y. Um, like, again, like I said again before, thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and get fit. See you guys later. Bye.